Welcome to two examples on how to solve a proportion. A proportion is formed when we set two ratios or fractions equal to each other. So looking at the two equations below, notice how they're not in the form of most proportions because we have a whole number on one side of the equation. But because we can write eight as a fraction with a denominator of one, and we can write three as a fraction with a denominator of one, these can be considered proportions. There are several methods to solve a proportion. We'll be using the method of clearing fractions, which is a common technique used when solving equations that contain fractions. So to solve a proportion or an equation by clearing fractions, step one, we multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD or least common denominator or any common denominator, and then solve the resulting equation. But notice in these two proportions, because there's only one denominator, it makes determining the least common denominator very easy. In our first equation, because we only have a denominator of six, six is the least common denominator. So to clear the fractions from the equation, we multiply both sides of the equation by six. So we have eight equals x over six, and now we multiply both sides by six. Because we have a fraction here, we'll multiply by six over one. So on the left side, we have six times eight, which is 48. On the right, before multiplying, we simplify. Six divided by six simplifies to one. So we just have one times x or x. And therefore, our solution is x equals 48. Of course, we can easily check this by performing substitution. The original equation is eight equals x divided by six and x equals 48. So we'd have 48 divided by six and 48 divided by six is eight. So our solution checks. Looking at our second equation, the only denominator we have is seven and therefore seven is the least common denominator. So to clear the fractions, we multiply both sides of the equation by seven. So we'll write seven as seven over one on the left. And here we'll just write seven times three. So simplifying here, seven divided by seven simplifies to one. One times x is x. On the right, seven times three equals 21. And we have our solution, x equals 21. And if we want to check this, we would substitute 21 for x in the original equation, which would give us 21 divided by 7 equals 3. 21 divided by 7 does equal 3, and our solution checks. I hope you found this helpful.